I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. This exercise I call Charleston Sprints because I'm going to force myself to make quick decisions during the Charleston. This is a great exercise if you like to play in tournaments or if you like to play online. Because if you don't make decisions quick enough online, the game will discard for you. My goal is to make decisions in under two minutes as an average. If you are an intermediate player, try making decisions in under three minutes. If you are a beginner, start with four minutes and then push yourself to make quicker and quicker decisions. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Let's roll the dice to see which seat we're going to be in. I rolled a six. That is player two. I will get 13 tiles and make a mock Charleston without jokers. Okay, no multiples. Two, three, five, one through five, two, three, four, five. Consecutive run. Maybe we could use the dragon. Let's pass these three. Consecutive run. Three, five. Here's dragons. Not the right dragon though or like numbers with fives. We have all the fives. Two, three, six. Okay, three. One, three, five. Three, five. Three, five, five. Threes, fives. Let's pass these. Play like numbers with fives. We'll stick with it. No keepers. There's five. Pass, pass. No keepers. Optional. Discards. Okay, like numbers with fives. Four discards. That was kind of hard though. The three five, we had no ones though, or the ones trickled in at different times. Otherwise, I might have tried to play one three five. I think I'd keep the three just to see if it comes back, but we have no ones. I think like numbers with dragons is what I would play here. Oh, that was hard. I rolled a 10. 8, 9, 10, player 2. Okay, I would think a year hand would be good, but look, we have fours. Three, four, maybe three, four pair hand. I would keep that white. Two, three, four consecutive run. Keep the two in the range. Discards right here. Five, two through five, three, four, five. 
Let's give up a two. Six. Three, four, five, six, two. We have tiles we can pass. That's a little risky. All one suit. One. One through five. Let's give up maybe this six and the dragon. One, two, three, four, five, three, four. Let's pass these. Nine and seven. One through seven pair hand. Let's pass these. Seven. Pass these. Flower. One, two, five, seven. Five, seven, twelve pair uh, addition. I think I would pass the white dragon to get a full pass. Lap. Okay, I would do addition or one through five, one suit, or one through seven, pair hand. Three discards either way. If we did not play the pair hand, we could play one through five and use these as joker bait, or play seven, five, 12 with the flowers and use this as joker bait. Either way, I would start by discarding those. Okay, one more. This time I rolled a seven. That would be West. Player three. No multiples. Ooze. We're close to having news. We do have year tiles. News. We do have fives. Let's pass these three. I'm thinking like numbers with news, pair hand, or a year hand. There's an east, or maybe wins. Let's pass. Let's give up on the year. play wins. Wins and dragons. Let's get rid of the nine in here. Pair. That could be good joker bait. North. Let's break this. Ooh, ooh. We're all right. Break it up. Focusing on wins. Okay, one of each suit, flower, optional. Lap, two, six, one, concealed news with flowers. We could use that to help in here somewhere. Four discards. I think that was all right. I think I would hold the two and the six because we have east and west. We could do east and west with evens, but those are singles. I think this is the strongest possibility though. Okay, let's see how things went with the time. Charleston sprints is a great way to train yourself to make quick decisions. Whether you play in a live game with friends 
or whether you are planning on playing in a tournament or maybe even playing online, this exercise can help. If you're a beginner, time yourself and then try to make decisions in under four minutes. If you are an intermediate player, three minutes. And if you're advanced, two minutes. I think if you make decisions in under two minutes comfortably, you'd be ready to play in a tournament or maybe even play online. Let's see how I did with time on my sprints. Sprint one, one minute, 54 seconds. Sprint two, two minutes, six seconds. So we're even six seconds under, six seconds over. So the third sprint, that's going to be the indicator. One minute, 43 seconds. I made it and under my goal, under an average of two minutes in three sprints. If you have a set at home, I hope you give it a try. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next Charleston Sprints for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. May all your picks be keepers.